The Carl Zeiss Jena 35mm f2.4 Flectagon lens is a Soviet-era lens that was first introduced in the 1960s. If you look at some of the reviews of this lens online, you'll see it's considered an absolute legend of a lens that has an almost cult-like following. What happens when you combine a lens like this that was first introduced over 60 years ago with the computational photography and AI inside of the Alice camera? In this video, we're going to review this legendary lens and also make the case for why you should consider buying some vintage lenses to pair with your Alice camera. Because not only will you have a lot of fun, you can also get some spectacular results, wonderful character, and give an old lens a new life in the digital age. Hello everyone, I'm Vishal, the CEO of the Alice Camera, and welcome to another exciting lens review. Today we dive into the Carl Zeiss Jena 35mm f2.4 Flectagon vintage lens, first introduced in the 1960s. The obvious choice when considering a lens for the Alice Camera is to buy a modern micro four thirds lens. There are many popular Lumix and Olympus lenses that we would recommend, and we're definitely going to review them soon, but you can also get a lot of fun and great quality vintage lenses very cheap online. So shout out to West Yorkshire Cameras, which is where I bought this lens online. The name Carl Zeiss might be familiar because it's a company which has been building excellent lenses for over a century. After World War II, the company was divided with one part staying in East Germany and the other part moving to West Germany. Carl Zeiss Jena was the East German branch and they developed lens series such as the Tessa, Sona, Pancola and Flectagon. Compared to other German brands, Carl Zeiss lenses have a certain reputation which hasn't really been surpassed as time went by. The Flectagon series is a very popular series and has many different focal lengths. There's the 20mm, there's another 35mm and a 50mm. This 35mm f2.4 is a manual focus wide angle lens that was first produced in the 1960s. It has a standard M42 mount and this particular lens is known for exceptional image quality and unique character. Its vintage design adds a touch of nostalgia to your content, transporting you to a bygone era. If you go onto Pentax forums, you can see the rating of this lens. Here we can see it has a sharpness of 9, bokeh of 9.2, handling of 8.3, and value of 8. This is a pretty good website to go and check on other lenses, but I must admit you can go down a bit of a rabbit hole with vintage lenses. In order to get this lens to work with the Alice camera, you need an M42 to Micro Four Thirds adapter. That's because the back of this lens doesn't fit onto the Alice camera's mount natively. You can buy this fairly reasonable adapter from Earth, which is linked below. You basically screw this lens into the adapter and then the adapter locks into the mount that's on the Alice camera. And that's it. But one thing to bear in mind is that once this lens is on, the actual focal length is not 35 millimeters. It's a 70 millimeter equivalent on a full frame sensor because Micro Four Thirds has a two times crop factor compared to a full frame sensor. You can also buy a more advanced focal reducer speed booster adapter, like this Pixco, which reduces the focal length by 30%. So instead of 70 millimeter equivalent, which you get on the Earth, you instead get a 49 millimeter. It also gives you an extra stop of light. So instead of having an F2.4, you get an F1.4. Right, let's talk about the main features of the lens. With the Flectagon, you get a great manual focus experience. The focus ring extrudes with these wonderful classic pyramid-like grips. The focus ring is smooth and has very nice resistance and allows for precise adjustments, giving you full control over your images. The focus ring is actually at the front of the lens and the aperture ring is at the back, which is different to other manual focus lenses and can be a little bit confusing. With our AI assisted manual focus feature, you can get very precise focusing. For this feature, what we do is we collect a series of focus stacks and then we train the camera to learn when an object is in focus in that scene. Then, when you're manually focusing on the camera, a rangefinder light graphic pops up and helps you get the subject in focus. I'm going to cover our AI-assisted manual focus feature in depth in another video soon. The Flectagon is known for its center sharpness, even at the widest aperture of f2.4. The corners are a little bit soft at this aperture, but they improve by f5.6. The lens's exceptional sharpness beautifully captures intricate details, creating stunning, crisp images. 
The aperture ring has a half stop click and travels 60 degrees from about f2.4 to f22. The click stops are a little bit noisy and this is something to be aware of if you're recording video. But what truly sets this vintage lens apart is its distinct bokeh. The Flectagon creates a dreamy background-like blur and this is especially exacerbated when using the Pixco adapter. The Flectagon is also a very good macro lens because it has a minimum focus distance of 20 centimeters. You can get very close to objects such as plants, animals, insects, and you can get some fantastic results. This makes it a very versatile lens that can be used for a variety of different applications from landscapes, portraits, to street photography. This is a quick segment on how to buy vintage lenses. You can buy a lot of vintage lenses on eBay, but I tend to prefer buying them from companies that specialize in vintage lenses. You might have to pay a bit of a premium, but personally, it gives me more peace of mind. In terms of vintage lenses that are most suitable for the Alice camera, a safe bet is lenses with the M42 mount. Many brands produce lenses with the M42 mount, so you have a fair amount of choice. Another good bet is the Canon EF mount or the Nikon F mount. You can even adapt old Leica M-mount lenses. Go on a website like West Yorkshire Camera and browse through their lens options. Go through some of the prices and then try to compare the prices of the lenses with a price tracker like the one that's on Pentax forums. For example, let's take a look at this Pentax M42 35mm f3.5 lens. On this website, it says that the lens is in excellent condition and they're selling it for £69, which is about $85. You can then check this lens out on Pentax forums and you can see that people have rated it as 8.97 on average and they've even shown the price of this lens over time and people have shared some sample photos. It's definitely worth doing this research before buying a vintage lens and I really hope that you find some gems online. In conclusion, if you're thinking about buying a vintage lens with the Alice camera then the Carl Zeiss Flectagon 35mm f2.4 lens is an excellent choice. It's a great beginner lens for those creators that are looking to practice their craft, have a unique experience and aesthetic. Prices vary depending on the condition of the lens, but you can expect to pay between $100 to $300 for the lens. If you can't find this specific lens, then you can search for other vintage lenses online, and it's a lot of fun. Going forward, we're not going to be doing many extensive vintage lens reviews, but the point of this video is to show you that there are other vintage lens options out there, and it can be quite affordable, unique, and most importantly, that they can work with the Alice camera with several different adapters that you can find. Thank you for joining us on this lens exploration. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel to learn and see more exciting content and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. In a follow-up video, I'm going to go through how our AI-assisted manual focus feature actually works and how it makes manual focusing easier. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, thank you.